Hello everyone, you're tuning into Hand for the Blessings. I'm Kim 1114. Um, I thought I would come and do a nail design right quick with um the butterfly that I just showed you how I made. Um, I'm not going to do it on my nails. My nails are still <laughs> purple from Sunday from this weekend. As you can see too, I wanted to uh, point out that I took a uh, nail polish and went all around my edges, my top coat. And as you can see, I painted my nails Thursday of last week and today is Wednesday. And my nails, as you can see, have not chipped at all on neither hand. Uh, my manicure still look good. I probably could go another week if I wanted to. Um, but you know me, I'm going to change my nails. But anyway, um, the nail design I decided to wear, um, the, the nail design that I decided to do rather, I'm going to use this um, pastel blue nail polish by Clean Colors. I'm going to start off with that. And it's number 141. I'm just going to do it on a fake nail. Um, because it's a little time consuming. I'm not going to paint my nails right now. So, I decided to do it on this. And give me one second. Okay, here we go. So, you want to start off. I'm just going to paint this nail blue. Turn sideways so it will be a little easier to see. I'm going to paint it blue all over. The pastel blue rather. This is a really pretty blue. I really love this color. I, even though I don't have anything, any clothes or outfit this color, but it's a pretty blue. So you want to start off with that blue all over. Then next I'm going to move to this color here and I don't know what it looks well I guess it looks kind of beige on on camera but it's actually the name of it it's by clean colors as well and it's number 145 sheer pastel white and what I like about it is it's not as pigmented as the um the uh, number one I mean the uh, regular white nail polish it's kind of sheer like so I'm gonna use that I'm using a sponge I'm gonna sponge this on And I'm not going to sponge it over the whole nail. I'm just going to sponge it about midway in the top area. Like that. And I'm going to get, um, I'm going to use the, the regular white nail polish. Hold on one second. Had to get it. I'm sorry. I'm going to use the regular white nail polish number four this is the cut the number on it uh clean by clean colors and i'm gonna put just a little bit on here because i don't want it to be so white on the tip and that's basically it that's all i'm going to do with that next i'm going to take um this dark green nail polish and it's called military green and it's number 105 I'm going to use that put a coat of it on there and I'm going to sponge just the bottom area down here at the bottom it's a really pretty green as you can see like that next I'll be using this um, bright green nail polish and it's uh, by Art Deco it has a fine brush on it Crap. and I'm just going to Just draw little random lines of green up like that. And I don't want it to be very, very bright, just thinly, thin lines pretty much. 
and I want some of it to go up into the blue as you can see I got a few lines going straight up into the blue part of it. So that's basically it. I want it to look kind of like grass uh, a little bit at the bottom part which it kind of looks like grass now. So that's basically it for the green. Uh, next I'm going to add just a little bit more white on the uh, top area of it. And I'm using the thinner part of my sponge. I added a little white to it. So I'm just going to do this in that area like that. That's, that's pretty much all I'm going to do. Okay, next I'll be using this um, pink nail polish by Clean Colors. It's called Pink Lady number 126. And I'm going to glob some on a sheet of paper. And I'm going to be using my dotting tool. This is the bigger part of my dotting tool. The bigger size, rather, of my dotting tool. So I'm going to dip some, dip it, the big end into it. I'm just going to put um, like a little flower right here on the corner. And um, I'll probably do like a five petal flower. Five dot flower rather. Well, now I'm going to do four. I'll do four. Four looks better. And then I'm going to use another dotting tool. Uh, this one is not very big. It's kind of medium sized like as soon as I find out what I did with it. Oh, here we go. And I'm going to add another pink flower right down here on the side. Like that. Then next I'm going to add some yellow, take some yellow nail polish and glob some on a sheet of paper. And this one is uh, Neon Yellow number 18 by Clean Colors. And I'm just going to put a dot in the center. of each flower like that and then I'm also going to take some white nail polish this is the regular white nail polish and I'll be using my big diamond tool again and I'm going to dip it in in there and I'm going to add another flower say about right here and I'm going to take the little fine tip that I have dotting tool and I'm going to add another little white flower right here in the corner and it's going to be really really tiny like that and I'm going to dip my nail polish in the yellow nail polish again and hopefully it's still wet enough use the final part and put a yellow dot in the center and I'm going to use the the medium sized one and put one in the center of this one like that
Then next I'm going to take uh, my clear nail polish. And paint over the whole nail. And try not to smear the flowers that I just done because they're still kind of wet. I'm going to take, pick up the butterfly. I'm going to take my toothpick and lift it up. As you can see, it lifted up really well. And I'm going to take it and hopefully you can see it. It's kind of hard to place on camera and place it. Right there on the nail like that. And press it down a little bit. Then I'm going to take my clear nail polish and go over it and it'll smooth everything out on the nail. So that's the final results of the nail. Um, hopefully you like it. I'm going to take a few pictures at the end so, and zoom in on it so you can see it better. But hope you like it. Uh, let me know what you think and I will talk to you later YouTube. Till then, take care.